I don't, I don't, most people don't realize uh, part of the process of putting together like the Bukita training system was if I could teach a woman. And this idea came to me because a, a buddy of mine, uh, we used to give him grief in SEAL Team because he used to read a bunch of female bodybuilding magazines. And we're like, dude, 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 really, <laughs> dude? And he's like, no, you don't understand. It's so much harder for a woman to put on muscle mass. It's so much harder for her to lose uh, the body fat. It's, it's more challenging. So if a woman can do this to her body, she can get these kind of physical results because he was into bodybuilding. Uh, then, then imagine how this could work for a man. And I took that same thought process as if I could teach a woman how to stop a man, how to show up under pressure, how to physically stop a man threatening her, then I could teach any man to do that. And so that's where that idea fundamentally came from, and that's how Bukito came into existence. I mean, that changed my thinking completely, was how do I get the mental performance, the physical performance to show up under stress and pressure? And that required me to really relook at everything that I was doing, and how do I simplify the process? How do I increase the ability for someone to show up when they need to, at the moment they need to? True, because for women, we're not really used to being physical or being touched or having people come into our space. And when that happens, unless you've practiced it in real life, like you say in your book, we don't know what to do. Well, it just what happens is, believe it or not, you actually do. You just don't believe you do. And more importantly, and this is the crazy stuff, I used to think that I had to teach people stuff. You actually know this. You have to understand, you have an animal inside you. You have this fierceness inside you. What happens is a lot of our uh, thoughts, our mental baggage gets in the way of showing up in that moment. A lot of us are waiting for somebody to give us permission to be who we really are. Mm -hmm. and, and in that moment under stress and pressure when the knife is at your throat or the gun is against your head or somebody's about to punch you in the face, essentially what, what is what's happening in that moment uh, is – you just not showing up. You not showing up in that moment. And, and you have to put all of that stuff aside to just see the thing that has to be done. And believe it or not, your dog or your cat, they don't think about that. They just smash the hand or they bite the person. They, they don't have to think about this. And we used to be fierce, incredibly fierce. But our, our sometimes our constructions, uh, the thoughts that we have, the, the way we feel about ourselves in general, get in the way. And when you're talking about being under surprise, under the stress of being surprised by the event or not paying attention to the event and all of a sudden it's on top of you because you're not prepared for it, that's when that chaos happens in your head. That's when all that stuff happens. The, pro the challenge with that is that that's how people handle life a lot. And if you're, if you're, if you're living as a complete reaction to life, you're going to feel more stressed out. You're going to feel more panicked. You're going to feel more defensive. You're going to feel in trouble. You're going to feel panicked. And that construction of who you think you are or what your parents thought you were or who your friends think you are, all that stuff gets in the way of sh you showing up in that moment when it matters most. Or more importantly, getting you out of the way to do the thing that matters in that moment. Mm -hmm. That's what matters.